How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk to you about Cardano. I have not talked about Cardano very much recently and I want to give some color to what I've been doing. I want to talk about what I've been doing and I also want to talk about some allegations. I've seen two different YouTube videos recently that talked about a possible scam happening with Cardano. Two different scams. One specifically with Charles Hoskinson and then one in the media. So I want to give you my thoughts on this, tell you what is going on and tell you what I've been doing with my Cardano recently. Now, to be clear, I have been selling it. And I don't make this video to piss off a bunch of people because honestly, I've done videos like this before. Like I sold Decentraland, right? I bought in early, I wrote it up, I wrote it halfway back down and I ended up selling it because of the way that the market was turning. I just didn't want that risk anymore and it didn't seem like a good risk to reward in my opinion at this time in the market cycle. Do I like making those videos? No, because first of all, people get really pissed off. People leave the channel. Second of all, I show what I did wrong, right? I, I bought Decentraland at the beginning. I also averaged up and then it fell back down, right? So I came out ahead, but not as far ahead as I could have been, right? I am not up on ADA right now, but I sold part of my position. Now I didn't sell all of it, just to be clear. I'll talk to you about it a little bit more. So I didn't sell all completely, right? I still want a position in it, but I see some things happening. So we'll get into all that. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, because I know a lot of people will leave. And you know, we talk about cryptocurrency every single day, bring a lot of the news and facts to you every single day. Also, there is a link underneath the video to BlockFi to start buying cryptos, and they'll give you up to $250 when you start depositing. There's also a link down there to Unstoppable Domains where you can get a readable wallet address and there are no renewal fees ever. It starts at $5. I highly, highly suggest it. So what is happening with Cardano? First of all, we're gonna talk about the scam allegations and I'll tell you what I've been doing and why. So recently I've been seeing articles like this. Whale Holdings in Cardano ADA token hit record high. And I just, I've seen these, I've seen people talk about Cardano or Polkadot being the most energy efficient cryptos out there i've been thinking that's a little bit odd but i i read through it you know i haven't made a video on it but then yesterday i saw invest answers make this video and he was basically talking about cardano now he's not the most bullish on cardano he really likes solana but he does not shill anything on his channel he he's very straight into the point he doesn't care what other people think but he he wanted to bring some facts so he had seen some of the same articles and what i thought was interesting I can move myself out of the way, is just the distribution of Cardano. So over time, you can see here on this chart, it's pretty well laid out. So whales held the majority of Cardano back in 2019, 2020 is actually what they show here. And then they start to distribute. The whales actually sold off a good amount before the price started pumping. And then since recently, they increased their holdings a little bit over the end of last year. But really, it's retail that's adding a significant amount, right? Investors are adding or have been shedding some recently, but retail has been buying the dip like crazy. When you compare that to other cryptos, right? It's very different. So when we look here, retail now holds 90% of ADA, essentially. Whales hold just 4%. So they shed a lot of their bags over the last two years. Now, when we compare this to Ethereum, Ethereum's actually been having their whales buy more and more. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, and there are a ton of different reasons for this, right? One thing that I think about is the fact that, you know, Cardano has gone up significantly more than Ethereum. When we look back at January of 2020, Cardano went up 100x nearly over this time. So from the beginning of the year, three cents to $3, it went up 100x. Ethereum, on the other hand, has been going up a significant amount less. So it also has had a nice price run, but $127 to $4,500. So maybe about a 30, 35x as opposed to 100. So maybe part of the thing is whales just want to distribute their tokens. They didn't want the tokens anymore because they had 100x. That's an insane amount of increase. But I will say I have noticed, you know, people in Cardano retail investors continuously pump cardano and you know that's not necessarily a bad thing maybe they just have strong conviction just like bitcoin maximalist but that is something that i've noticed so recently someone said on twitter 
that uh, Laura Shin's book was great. It's great to discover Charles Hoskinson's early crypto years portrayed on there. Then Charles said, this is a great work of fiction, tough market to beat George R.R. Martin and Token, but we wish her well. So kind of throwing a little bit of shade. Then she says, and if you don't know who she is too, I should give a little color to that. She has been a senior editor at Forbes. She is a crypto journalist and hosts a crypto podcast on chain. So she is pretty knowledgeable, obviously. She says, hi, Charles, speaking of fiction, do you want to address the discrepancies between your claims of dropping out of a PhD program and the school's assertions that you were enrolled as an undergrad? So Charles has said that he did not complete a PhD. I will return and finish it after he retires. So he says that. We go on to the next one. I graduated but did not complete a PhD. I will return to finish it after I retire. Not a doctor, never finished a PhD. However, the college that he actually attended, Metropolitan State University, doesn't even have a graduate math program and said he'd been enrolled part-time as a math major between 2006 and 2008 and again between 2012 and 2014. And the University of Colorado Boulder said he was a half-time undergraduate math major for four semesters. He never earned a degree from either. Now, this is some cause for concern for me. I don't care that he didn't graduate, but Cardano has such a cult following, in part because of Charles Hoskinson, that makes me really cautious. If this is true, right, and he's been lying about graduating for years, and this comes out, that could be a huge catalyst, a huge negative for Cardano, right? They are where they are in large part because of Charles Hoskinson. He's a great marketer. So that could be real cause for concern if you really lied about this because that discredits him. Now, he did not respond to this. No one responded to this. And I don't care they didn't graduate, but if he really lied about it, that's not great. So this this is interesting to see what will happen after this. Now, I'll be clear, I sold a little bit more than half of my position in Cardano when it was a little bit higher than now. I was selling in the one, 110 to 140 range, right around there a few weeks ago. And honestly, I just see more potential in other cryptocurrencies, right? Even though it's fallen down nearly 75%, it's still in the top 10 especially when you take out USDC and Tether, it's in the top six. So it is one of the biggest cryptocurrencies by market cap. So if you think that it can't fall, it definitely can. Uh, so that is part of the reason I've been selling, just because they are pretty far behind some other chains like Solana, like Terra, like Ethereum even, BNB. So they are far behind. Now what they're going for is something in the future. They're trying to create a cryptocurrency that is research driven and they're trying to beat a lot of the problems before they even reach them, right? They want everything to be perfect right when they release it. That's why they are so far behind on certain things like even smart contracts. Now, in one sense, that's great because it's a little bit less risk to investors. But on the other hand, I think you figure out problems a lot faster when you actually reach them because you have to. And you know, some people don't like that with Solana, right? Solana hasn't been around very long and they've had issues. They've gone down several times, but when you look at the activity, it is growing very fast. Now, when you look at Cardano, sure, they are growing, right? They have some total value lock now, but it's still very small. I mean, when you look here, it's not even, it's not even one of the top lists here. It's not, even, it's not even showing up, right? So when we look up Cardano, over time, it will grow. The, the ecosystem will grow. It's at about 200 million now, or 160, and that will continue to grow. But I need to shed some of my position because of the fact that I saw downside risk. And, you know, that's turned out fairly well so far. I also think now is not a great time to be investing into speculative plays, right? Speculative cryptocurrencies. Part of that I realize is probably biased because we are down. And if we turn around, it would have been a great time to pick up a lot of small cryptocurrencies. But usually Bitcoin moves first, right? And then all the other altcoins move afterwards. So you do have some time in there. Now, I think now is a great time to add into some of your top conviction plays, but the majority of what I have is going into Bitcoin. Now, this is not supposed to be a Cardano FUD video. I think I just brought you the facts and what I am bringing to the table, what I'm doing. I'm not doing this because it's fun, right? I don't like making these videos, but 
I feel like I should make them so you guys know my thinking, know what I'm seeing, because that's the whole point of this YouTube channel, right? Is to tell you guys what I'm seeing. So let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Do you think that I'm way off? Do you think Invest Answers is way off? Do you think some of these other crypto analysts are way off in what we are seeing and what we think about the ecosystem and what we see in crypto in general? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are a Cardano uh, warrior and you are just gonna continue to add no matter what. Let me know your thoughts underneath the video. Again, you can check out the link to Unstoppable Domains and BlockFi and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Bye.